Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to convert your Note 9 into an iPhone XS Max. So in front of me over here, I have an iPhone XS Max, and over here, I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and Android smartphone. And if you take a look at the interface, you'll see that they're exactly the same, okay? So the uh, Android phone, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, is in fact running the iPhone interface. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get this done right away. Now before we dive in, if you do own a smartphone, make sure to hit that subscribe button to subscribe to Saki Tech. And of course, make sure to click that notifications bell icon as well to make sure you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And of course, as you know, the iPhone has the control center, which you can swipe from the top just like that. That allows you to control certain functions on the iPhone, uh, such as increasing the brightness, uh, increasing the volume, decreasing the volume and all that good stuff. You can even press and hold on these things, which is going to expand these functions and give you even more options. So the same thing is now also possible on the Android smartphone. So over here, uh, you have to put the control center on the side over here. So you pull it right in and you have it right there. And again, you can tap on any one of these things. They will expand and give you additional options. Uh, some of them are going to look a little bit different, but most of them look the same. And some of them, of course, don't work. So again, let me pull this one down as well. And as you can see, they look absolutely similar. So we are going to go into the details, uh, but let me quickly show you how to get this done. So what you want to do is you want to go to the Play Store on your Android and download a very special launcher. Now, before I launch the Play Store, I just want to show you guys, if you look at the icons, they're also the same. So the phone icons, the messaging icons, uh, the Internet Explorer, and of course the music icons, even the App Store icon, it says App Store over here, and over here it says Play Store, but as you can see, they both look the same. So this uh, launcher does want to give you an iOS experience. So let's go to the Play Store. I'm going to show you the name of the application. So just type uh, iOS, as a matter of fact, it's right over here. It's called the Launcher iOS 12. Okay, so you want to download this and you want to make this into your primary launcher and then you're going to get all these options. Of course, there's some tweaks you have to do to get the um, uh, to get the control center, for example. So let me show you how to get that done. So basically, after you download iOS launcher, uh, let me just go into the actual app. So that's the iOS launcher right there. Oops, uh, right over here. You do want to uh, go over here where it says tools and download the control center and the assistive touch uh, The control center here this thing right here is a separate app that you have to download That is made by the same guy that made this uh, app over here So if you tap this it will take you right over there uh, into the actual app uh, If you don't have it, it's gonna prompt you to download it But once you get it, it's gonna be right here And of course this control center is also fully customizable just like on, on the iPhone so on the iPhone, you go to the settings, uh, you go into the control center right over here, right over here, and you can actually customize the controls. You can add more or take off the ones you don't need. Uh, the same thing is possible here. Uh, you can tap on customize controls and you can add or remove shortcuts. You can even add apps. So on this one, you cannot add apps, but on this one, you can actually add some apps, which is also great. So in my control center, I have a bunch of controls and also I have an app at the bottom here, the Amazon app and the Best Buy app. So if I tap these, it's just going to launch the actual app, which is a nice little shortcut. But if I were to go back into that control center, let me go into that app over here. So if I do over here, I can change the position of the actual control. So I can tap on this one. I can have one on the right. If you want to have it on the right, just from this end, it's going to come right over here. Now, if I go home, the control center is going to be accessible from the right side. Okay, so let me go back in here. Again, you can change the size of that, so it's getting bigger. And of course, you can change the color of it, and you can uh, do this as you please. You can also have it at the bottom if you so desire. I like to have it on the left or the right because we do have navigation bar buttons uh, with Android smartphones. Okay, so I put it here this time, uh, which is fine as well. So there we go. Okay, so that's the control center for the iPhone running on your Android. Other bunch of cool things is if you go into the settings of the iOS launcher, so if I go into the uh, iOS launcher here, I do have the ability to go into wallpapers and pick any one of the iOS wallpapers, not just the ones that uh, you see on the specific iPhones, but you see a collection of all the available wallpapers are available right here. Now, if I go to this guy over here to display, uh, if I tap on, let me just go to the wallpapers, 
Uh, here's the wallpapers that you get with the iPhone XS Max, for example, just a bunch. Uh, with this one, you get everything. So you get all the, um, even the ones that come with the iPhone XR. Okay, so as you can see, they're all here. And of course, they're really nice looking ones. So I got the same ones over here just to show you how everything is exactly the same. So if I go back into the settings right over here, and if I do a search for assistive touch, uh, it's, right, it's going to be right over here. So I can enable or disable assistive touch, which is a software button that floats about on the screen uh, anywhere you want. And you can tap it to actually uh, access some functions, such as being able to bring down the control center, uh, bring down the notifications panel, tap it again. You can do some device gestures. You can even take some screenshots. If you tap on this, you can even take a screenshot, okay? So these are some great little, that's a great little tool over here known as the assistive touch. You can do the same thing with, the, uh, with this launcher here. So you go to control center or the uh, main one, uh, you will see an ad every now and then, so let me just skip that ad for a second. The whole thing is free, but you're going to be seeing ads here and there uh, when you launch an actual app to make some settings, uh, modify some of the settings. Uh, that's how you get this for free. But anyway, if you go down over here, you'll see the assistive touch option. Uh, again, if you tap it and you don't have the assistive touch, it's going to prompt you to download it from the Play Store. But if you allow the, uh, once you download it, you just allow the permission over here to the home screen, I'll have the assistive touch right here. Okay, so over here we have this, over here it's a little more circular, but we have it here as well. Okay, again, all the options you get on this side, you get over there. You can tap on this to go home, same thing. Okay, so tap this guy, tap it. You can tap on control center, brings it right up. Uh, let me go back, you can tap it again. You can tap on settings. Uh, that takes you into the settings of the actual phone of the assistive touch, okay? Let's click OK. So you can even change the assistive touch functionality as much as you want. You can change the layout of it uh, if you want. So you can make this a different color, which is great. Now when I tap it this time, OK? So again, your, your Android phone now is acting, behaving, looking like an iPhone. But on top of that, you, you're able to use the power of Android to further customize these tiny little things uh, on the Android. All right, so this one is uncustomizable. You cannot change the color, but this one you can basically do anything that you want to it. I can change the single tap functionality, the double tap functionality, the long press functionality. So basically, what do I want this button to do when I do a long press on it? I can do the double tap, like I said. Again, you can change the size, all right? Uh, the size can be minimized, it can be maximized if you want it, okay? So all these uh, assistive touch options get unlocked on this uh, iOS launcher interface for your Android smartphone. Now when you tap on this button here, this is going to take you into the regular Android settings. If you want to go into the iOS settings uh, for the launcher settings, you do have to uh, look for the iOS launcher. By the way, this is the same finder that you get on. So if you go like this, you get that finder. Uh, if you go like this, you get the finder. So you just search for the app that you're looking for. So you go into this one uh, right over here, and then you get all these options, all right? You can donate if you want to. You can hide the apps. You can add blur effects. You can also uh, choose the weather units and auto refresh and all these good things. So if you want to customize the interface a little bit, you have to go to the iOS launcher settings. Again, this is a multifunctional tool. You also have to get this app, Control Center application. Let me just X this out, click Cancel. That's the Control Center. Again, fully customizable. And you have to go and you have to get the uh, assistive touch if you want this functionality over here. A great modular design. Again, it's a free app to download known as the iOS launcher. Uh, so if, let me go back here. So it's Launcher iOS 12. Just download it, take a look at it. Uh, I'm not going to keep it like this, but it's just a nice thing to look at. Just a nice little experience uh, if you want to uh, get a different launcher. And if you always wanted an iPhone, perhaps, and you could not get it, this is one way to get it done on your Android. Of course, you're not going to get a real iPhone, but uh, this is just one way to get it done as far as the interface is concerned. Now, with the iPhone, of course, you have the Today screen. You don't get these things, okay? You do get the Control Center, like I showed you guys, but with the Notifications panel, when you pull this down, you are gonna get the regular Android Notifications panel, which is also an amazing little panel, but you're not gonna get the Today screen, okay? Uh, you will get the 
home screens, you're gonna get the assistive touch, you're gonna get the wallpapers, you're gonna get the app shape. So as you can see, the icons look all the same. Uh, the folders behave similarly, as you can see, look and feel the same. Uh, so you're gonna get a look of the iPhone on your Android smartphone, all right? Anyway, that's the end of this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe to Saw Key Tech and give this video a thumbs up. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saw Key Tech Online. Guys, have a fantastic day.